Hi, uh, that was Prisoner by Dokken. Um Let's go over the song from the intro. Uh, the first part, uh, let's talk about the chords. The chords are, uh, there's only three major chords in the beginning. So basically we have a, a, a e, e power chord. And we got a, a G open chord. Uh, you put your index on the th third fret of your low E string and while you're doing that you kind of your flash the bottom your index finger kind of mute the second A string okay and then you put your ring finger and your index finger on the on the third fret of your B and high E string and then you play all those notes together and, do the, and then the next chord is open D I assume you know how to do the open, open D chord so uh, the chord And he repeats that over and over, but every time he does it, he plays that the um, the the note up here. Uh, so this note we play right here first. First of all, the first part. Uh, put your index finger on the 19th 19th fret of your high E string, and your ring finger on the 22nd fret of your B string. Okay, but when you, you gotta play those two notes together, once you do that, as soon as you pick those two notes, you gotta bend your ring finger, the, uh, your twenty-second fret of your B string, up whole step uh, to make it sound exactly like the uh, the nineteenth fret of your E string. Basically, you gotta go from this note, the second twenty-second fret of B, to that note. Okay, nineteenth fret. So if you do that, you sound both notes sounds the same. If you bend too much, it's gonna sound like this. All right. So if you bend, if you don't feel, if you don't bend enough, sound flat like that. So you gotta kind of. When you do that, you can hear that it doesn't. Uh, uh, both notes sound exactly the same. Same thing. The next one you gotta, and you gotta move up to uh, uh, 17th fret of your high E string. Okay, basically it's the A note. And your ring finger is on the 20th fret of your uh, B string. Okay, you gotta go from here, bend up the whole st whole step to your A, alright? So go from G to A. Okay, so again. Alright, that's the first two notes. And you play the, a power, power chord on the E, open E again. And the next part, you gotta do the uh, 15th fret of your high E string, which is a G. And then you place your ring finger on the 18th fret of your B string. Alright, so that's an F note. Again, you gotta bend it from F to G, alright? So both notes sound the same. You bend, but uh, if you bend too much, it's gonna sound like this. You don't want to do that, and then you know you're off. Just test it. Move it up here. Play the G note. See what it sounds like. So 
So go from this note to this note. Okay. Next up, you do the same thing uh, on the 14th fret of your high E string. Okay. Um, and then you place your um, basically this is F sharp. And then you place your ring finger on the 17th fret of your B string. Okay, that's basically the E note. So you basically go from E to F sharp. Okay, you gotta pick both notes together at the same time. And you gotta bend the uh, ring finger up half, half whole step. So the whole thing goes like this again at the beginning. While you're doing this part, uh, the solo goes like this. Next part again. G, G. While you're doing that, you gotta go. Alright. Uh, and then he goes back again here. Uh, that is an E minor scale. Uh, what I do is I slide up from the D string to the ninth fret of the D string with your ring finger and you pick the ninth fret again on G string so go 9th fret on the D, 9th fret on the G, 7th fret of your B string and then you pick the 8th uh, 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 fret of your B string pull off the 7th fret and then you play the ninth fret of your G string again with your middle finger. That way you leave your room for your ring finger laying on the tenth fret of your B string. That way you can bend it up. So you go from tenth fret to twelfth fret. And if once you bring it down, you pick it and pick the nook again. Okay. What I do is like that, play the eighth fret of your B string, hammer on to tenth fret, pull it off the eighth fret, slide up to seventh fret of your B string. While your index finger is right here, you kind of cover the G string a little bit, and then you pick the uh, the seventh fret of your uh, G string. And you move up to the ninth fret of your G string. You play the ninth fret, hammer on to the eleventh fret. And you pick the ninth fret again. Give it a vibrato, okay? And play it slowly again. We'll move a little closer. Eighth fret for the B string. Pull off the seventh fret. Ninth fret of the G string. Tenth fret of the B string. Bend it up. Bring it back down and pick it again. Pick the 8th fret of your B string. Pull off from the 10th fret to 8th. Slide up to slide down to 7th fret. And then you pick the 7th fret of your G string. Move your index finger up to 9th fret. Pick it again. Hammer on to the 11th fret. And then you pick the 9th fret again. And then it's on the E note. So the last part goes like this. Uh, once you do that, uh, you turn the uh, turn your distor distortion down just a little bit and play the power E chord. So what I did, what I'm doing here is play the E chord, and then you mute the open E string twice, and you play this uh, G major uh, third interval. Basically, it's the uh, uh, fifth fret of your D string and the fourth fret of your G string. That's that's basically a G major third uh, interval. 
and he picked the Chinook again on the open E string and he played a D power chord on the fifth position on the A and um, uh, A and D string. Okay. I, I use my pinky instead of my ring finger, but you can do it like this. I use my pinky instead. I use a lot of my pink a lot of my pinky to play power chord. Some people use a ring finger. Pinky is just more comfortable for me. So again, again, the beginning goes like this. Open E again. Next part. This chord right here is a C major, uh, major third interval. Uh, you're playing the uh, 10th fret of your D string and a 9th fret of your G string. Just those two notes. The major third of a G major is a C major third interval. Alright, so uh, the, the, those two parts goes like this. Do the G, ma do the G major uh, third interval again. Play the C power chord. Turn the distortion up. Alright, so that part right there, so uh, you go from you just play the C note, third fret of your A string, and you play the uh, G, uh, the third fret and the second fret of your low E string. So it goes like this. So you play E power chord and then you mute three times. And then you play the E power chord higher at the seventh position. Index fingers on the seventh fret of your A, and your ring fingers on the ninth fret of your D. Okay? Uh, say uh, those are chords we covered before is a G major interval just those two notes and you play the D power chord and you do the uh, e, open E power chord yeah and you play, and you play the, the E chord at the seventh position again uh, that's a C major third those two notes we talked about before again Okay. So so far we have this. Once you play that, you gotta play this uh, E chord right here. Basically, I cover with my index finger on the second fret. I'm covering the second fret of your A and D string with my index finger, and then my ring fingers on the fourth fourth fret of your G string. Pinky on the fifth fret of your B string. While you play the open E string. To so play that chord. So again, uh, so you uh, uh, what I'm doing is I play F sharp, which is the second fret of your E with your index finger, and then I play open string of your D open string of your G while your ring finger is on the uh, third fret of your B string and you play those three notes together again there's a open G open open D open G and a third fret of your B so again okay and you play open D chord so 
it goes, so it goes like this again. Alright, so that part, once you do that, uh, you play the open A string, mute it twice, and you play the B power chord, and you mute it, you play it, you strum it seven times, three, four, five, six, seven, slide to the uh, E power chord, and you do the C major third interval, and then you do the G major third interval again. D power chord uh, C major third power C major third interval and then you play the uh, G major third interval again and you play open D chord so that part right there I play uh, with my ring finger on the fifth fret of your D string while my index finger on the third fret of your B string but when I play the uh, I'm playing the open G string and the third fret of the B string together uh, once I, you, and then you play the fourth fret and while your index finger is still on the third fret you play those two notes together open G and the uh, third fret of your B and you play open D string and then you go to this uh, open E power chord basically this is a D chord with your index finger on the second fret of your low E string G D Now that part right there is a little tricky. Uh, it's a, a minor third interval with my ring finger on the seventh fret of your D and the uh, fifth fret of my G string. All right. You play those two notes first, and you play the seventh fret just by itself, and you play the seventh fret again. And the fifth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, fourth fret again. All right. Uh, so it goes back to that. All right. Uh, when you get to the bridge right before the solo, uh, it goes like this. Ring finger and pinky on the fourth fret of the G and D string. While you open, you play the open A together. You put your index finger on the second fret. Four. So you play fast, it sounds like this. and play slowly. So that part right there. Second fret of your A string. Open A. Third fret of your low E string. 
open E, and then third and second fret of your low E string, open E, E power chord, do that again, B power chord, C power chord, A, and it goes in a solo. Something like that. So uh, again, I'm play that play it for you uh, one time again. Again, we play those beginning chord. You gotta do the. Uh, all right. Oh, sorry. So that's the basic structure of Prisoner and all those courts. Thank you for watching.